Do you know what the best version of you looks like? Just take a look in the mirror, the person that you were born to be and say, huh, I'm taking on the best. Every day is a new day to step it up. And maybe some days I feel like giving up. I just don't get it, but I can't forget that I'm a believer in the power of yet. I may not know it now, but I will. I will. Take a deep breath and I'm chill. Mistakes are part of the game. I embrace them. I don't run from my fears. I face them. How? Pay attention, I take charge of my learning. Draw it out and work it out to show my journey. Try until it clicks, make sure that it sticks. Working at it constantly is my secret. Practice is not something I do once I'm good. It's the one thing I do that makes me good. So I take another step, I'm obsessed with progress. You know why? Why? I'm taking on the best. Hello world changers and welcome to this video lesson of taking on the best. My name is Miss McCarthy and I am on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you and I'm so excited that I get to be your guide as we not only dive into Florida's best standards for third grade math, but I'm also here to encourage you and support you every step of the way as you take on the best version of yourself. So without further ado, let's get into this video lesson and let me teach you. In today's video lesson we're going to break down the area and perimeter of composite figures. So grab your pencil, grab your workbook page, and let's get ready to take some notes. All right let's go ahead and just jump into number one. It says what is the area and the perimeter of the composite figure? This is the composite figure that they are referring to. It, it means that some rectangles have been combined together. It's been composed of a couple different shapes, okay? It's a composite figure. So we've been learning about finding the area and the perimeter of rectangles and squares, but now it looks like it's a little bit different. So what we need to do is figure out where we can break down or decompose this figure into rectangles, okay? I do wanna point out real quick, cause I'm noticing on mine, that it looks like there's a little opening right here and there's not supposed to be. So can you just color that part in with your pencil? It's not meant to be open, okay? And now just follow along with me, all right? So I'm looking here and I see a bunch of different side lengths. I'm trying to figure out where can I make a break in this composite figure to isolate some rectangles and figure out the area and the perimeter, okay? Let's see what we've got here. So I'm seeing six inches, four inches, four inches, five inches, 10 inches, and nine inches. So it looks like we have the entire perimeter accounted for. So you know what? Let's go ahead and figure out the perimeter first, okay? We can do that without having to decompose anything. So we know that finding the perimeter, we need to add up all the sides, and there's a lot of sides to add up here. So let's start with up here. We'll start with six plus four inches plus four inches plus five inches plus 10 inches plus nine inches, okay? So now we have all the side lengths. We can figure out what the perimeter is now. So I'm seeing right here six and four, that's an easy 10. I see nine here, four plus four is nine. So that's plus nine, plus 10, plus nine. Um, and now I can do 10 and 10 is 20 and nine and nine is 18. And that would equal a total of, of 38. What's our unit? Inches, right? 38 inches. So we know what the perimeter is. We figured that out. We're good to go there. So make sure you've got that copied and then join me as we figure out what the area is. Now for the area, that's the amount of space that this object, that this composite figure is covering. And it's pretty simple for us. We've learned how to find the area of rectangles. So now we just have to figure out where can we decompose this figure, break it down into rectangles. And I'm noticing if I were to go like this, going down right here, that would give me a rectangle right here. 
and a rectangle right here. We'll call them rectangle A and rectangle B. And then if we're looking, we see that rectangle A has a length of six and a width of nine. Be careful because the length of 10 going all the way cuts into the next rectangle and we don't want that. So that would mean to find the area, we could find six times nine for rectangle A. You know what, maybe I should call this rectangle B and C just because we're labeling this as area and A is standing for area here. Okay, so rectangle B has an area of six times nine. We'll figure that out in a second. And let's see about rectangle C. It looks like rectangle C has a length of four inches and a width of what? Five inches. So we could also multiply four times five for rectangle C. All right, so we know the areas of both of the figures. Now we just need to combine them to get the total area of the composite figure. So right away, I know that four times five, that equals what? 20, five, 10, 15, 20, okay? And now go ahead and pause the video and use a strategy that you know to figure out what six times nine is. Then press play to come back and close out this problem. All right, so what was the product that you got to for six times nine? 54, awesome. So six times nine equals 54. And now we have 54 plus 20, which equals how much? Well, if you're not sure, you can just bring it over here. 54 plus 20 equals 74. We're talking about area. So area square area, that would be 74 square inches. Okay, so we've got our perimeter here, 38 inches and our area here, 74 square inches. So go ahead and make sure that you have all this copied. You know what, I'm also gonna just write in here that we figured out six times nine equals 54 square inches and that four times five equals 20 square inches just to show that we found both of them and then we combine them together. So make sure you have all that copied and then join me for number two. All right, so here we are for number two. It says a school is planning to build an athletic court. A drawing of the plans is shown below. What is the area and the perimeter? of the athletic court design. So this is just putting it into a real world problem here, an athletic court. Okay, so we need to find the area and the perimeter. Let's see what we've got though. Okay, so we have a length of 12 yards. We have 12 yards, 20 yards, eight yards, eight yards, and four yards. We've got measurements for the distance all the way around, which means that we can figure out the perimeter, right? We can add up all the sides. Let's go ahead and do that. So the perimeter equals 12 plus 12 plus 20 plus eight plus eight yards plus, I'm running out of room, plus four yards. I can squeeze that in. Okay, so now we need to add those up, right? So we have 12 plus 12 is 24 plus 20. We can say eight and eight is 16, and then we'll bring down the plus four. We're just, this is just my way of adding up all the sides. Um, I see that I could do 16 and four, that would equal 20 plus 20. So right here, 20 plus 20 would be 40 plus 24 equals 64. So our perimeter is 64 yards. That was just the way my brain thought to add them up. You could have also said that 12 plus 12 equals 24, plus 20 equals 44, plus eight equals 52, 
plus 8 equals 60, plus 4 equals 64. Either way, because of the commutative property or the associative property really of addition, it doesn't matter the way that we group our add-ins. We can still get to that same answer. So make sure that you have this down. However, you got to 64 is cool. And then let's figure out the area. So make sure you have that down and then join me as we figure out the area. Now that we figured out the perimeter, we need to figure out the area. And here we have a composite figure. We need to decompose or break down that figure into multiple rectangles. And I'm seeing right here, I could break this rectangle into rectangle B and rectangle C again. For rectangle B, we have a length of eight yards and a width of eight yards. So we can apply that formula of eight times eight. And then over here, we have a length of 12 yards and a width of 12 yards. So we can multiply 12 times 12 to figure out the area. So go ahead and find what eight times eight equals and write it down and figure out what 12 times 12 equals and write it down. Press pause to figure that out and then join me to get to make sure that your answer is correct. All right, welcome back. So what is eight times eight? It is, it's 64, 64. And because we're working with area, it would be 64 square yards. And then 12 times 12 equals what? 144, 144 square yards. Okay, so we found the area of what we called square B and the area of square C because we have the same lengths going on there. Now what do we need to do to find the total area? Add them up, right? So here's what we did using an equation. We said eight times eight plus 12 times 12. We said eight times eight equals 64. 12 times 12 equals 144. And when we add those two up, I'm gonna do it right over here to the side. You should get a total of 208 square yards. Okay, so make sure that you have all of that copied. We figured out the perimeter and we figured out the area. Jot down all these notes and then let's close out this video lesson. All right, world changers, I hope that the information clicked in this video lesson, but now it's your turn to make sure that it sticks. How do you do that? By taking charge of your learning. And you can do that by rewatching this video lesson if you need to or asking questions, but most importantly, making sure that you get your extra practice in because practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. So keep on practicing. Before we go, let me remind you that your only competition in life should be with that person staring back at you in the mirror, yourself. Do not compare yourself to other people. Just focus on being the best version of you that you can be. And that's what we're all about, right? Because we are taking on the best. All right, world changers, keep working hard and make this world a better place. And I will see you in a video lesson real soon, okay? All right, bye.